Hello, today is June 27th, 2015. I'm Jeff Tennant. Let's go over my calls from Thursday night. I had a MJT target of 2111.29. I thought it was most likely to print Friday, which it didn't. But I said we should drop five points first, which we did. This target failed to print within its preferred time frame, but I still expect to see it reasonably soon. During the day, BJT said this drop was a false move and gives us a target of 2106.60. But it also says this rally is a false move and says we will undercut Friday's low and gives us a target of 2095.37. Typically, when we have both um, higher and lower prices like this one of Two things happens. The commonest one is we have a gap outside of the day's range. The next most common is that we close little change. Let's look at the case for this low holding and we'll see why I think we're going up. We had um, a few bullish signs and all we have to do is avoid invalidating them Monday Invalidation would be a prompt gap down and promptly taking out this low. Anything but that, and we ought to see higher prices. The 4th of July week historically is a bullish week. It isn't a guarantee because um, nothing is a guarantee. Let's not forget the week between New Year's and Christmas typically rallies, and this last one did not. But we had... A series of lower lows in the market that was dropping and couldn't hold the lows. This happened on huge volume and typically that means the reversal is going to hold. We had a number of things we were looking for. One was I wanted to see bar 13 of the combo buy signal on the 15 minute chart. We got that near the low. The other thing I wanted to see We had a target of a diamond pattern. Here's the diamond. Here's your Fibonacci grid. We had a diamond that beat up a target of hitting this price, which we did. We overshot by a little, but that's okay. Also, if you notice, this is the consolidation we've been in since the first part of the year. Just ignore that little overshoot. You take the lows from March and the highs from this month. And you'll see the Fibonacci retracement is right at that low and right at that low over here. So we have good support at uh, Friday's low. We have a reversal pattern and we have reversal right from a pre-established target price. We also have favorable seasonality. So we have an expectation that Monday will go up. It would be invalidated if we promptly took out the slow. I don't expect to see that happen. This is a pretty positive pattern. I've been saying all along, I think that the high for the market was in. This is a strong enough formation to make me call that into question. Over the longer term, I think while well, we may go up this week, the long-term pattern remains extremely negative as breath is just awful and foreign markets have started dropping and topping out. And I think even if we rally this week, much, much lower prices are coming and probably before the end of the month. That is today's call.